Ah, it's a lovely day on the coast. Clear blue skies. A few little wispy clouds, but a bit of rough sea. And uh, the tide is going out. So, we've got a good few hours to go see if we can find some good fossils. So, stick with us. Let's see if we can find some good stuff. So, welcome to another episode of Fossiliferous. We're out on the Yorkshire coast. And uh, it's an absolutely lovely day today. A little bit of breeze. Eh, not warm, not cold. Just perfect for fossily. Don't want to get too warm hammering away and stuff. A bit of uh, a rough sea. Tide's going out. Uh, we got about four or five hours at this location. And uh, yeah, conditions look good. Right, so we're down on the beach, and we got the first dack of the day. Lovely little split there. Bad little dack dack. Love it when they split nicely. So, uh, it's been a little fresh fall here. I don't know if this is fossiliferous material or not. I think it's come from just there, which hmm, it's quite low down for this section. It could be tenny though, it could be tenny material. There's a nodule there. Not a big sizable nodule. Can't see anything else, but I should give that a bash definitely. So unfortunately that one's a bust, I think it's semi salatum but it's not preserved very well at all. Loads of calcite veins running through it, so yeah, never mind. So I'll pick this nodule up. I'll get that in a minute, spot the other dax time. Well, it's there, well it's all there or not, I don't know. I don't think so. A wash. Yeah, that's definitely there. Let's put that with that nodule. There's another one. Nice little one, that's all there as well. Yeah, cool, I'll give that big nodule a bash, I don't think I'll be opening it, but a couple of dacks at least. Another uh, spot the dack time. It's all there or not? Looks like it might be. Ooh, mostly, a little chip off it there, but actually most of that's going to be there, including the centre, so I will take that. Not too bad. Uh, I've collected a few nodules up, there's nothing showing, so time to give them a bash and see if there's out inside. So it's mainly Bifron zone stuff, I think, apart from uh, that which is a, a jet rock nodule. Could be an Elegantisserus in there. Not the best of places for the camera. Try there. Okay, let's see, that one looks pretty tempting, that has got to be something in it. Surely, surely. Let's have a look. Get this appointment number one over with. Is a pseudoleoceros. Lovely jublet. That's quite a nice one as well. Not huge, but it's uh, yeah, it's all complete, so nice. Nodule number one. Success. Let's give this jet rocker nodule nodule a, a bash. Alright, always flakes off these. Let's do it properly. Yeah, uh, nothing in that. Uh, I did have one in, but it's broken. Orientated the wrong way. That's no good. It goes one nice pseudo though out of that lot, so quite happy. Okay, so another nice nodule down there. I just pick this one up, but it looks a bit crushed, so we'll give it a tap. 
that looks a very nice nodule does that so I'm gonna have to give that a tap oh, I've tapped that nice nodule uh, oh it's another pseudo <laughs> wow it's a pseudo day today look at that it's pretty nice so yeah that'll be a, a nice little in that one the pseudo Leoceros lithens nice yeah, a few more dark spots In there, it's a little crushy, so we'll give it a tap. You find this exceptionally well preserved shell as well. It's a nice couple of nodules there. I'm gonna tap down in a minute. There's a little bit lurking around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there it is. Again, not all there quite, but most of it's there. A little chink out of it. Cut polish, okay, that one. Yeah, a few bits and pieces here and there. Keep looking for some more bits. Now, this one, if it's all there, could be a nice one. It's like a big fat chunky one. Is it all there? Oh, that's actually a Peronoceros, I think. Ooh, lovely. So, yeah, it's definitely there, is that? So that's a good one. Might be one to get prepped, is that? It looks like it's got some lovely spines on it. So yeah, if it's not sticky, that's gonna be a nice one. Excellent. Yeah, that's a good find, that. Happy with that, look how chunky that is. Oh, very nice Peronoceros. That's another dark spot. It's just an overview of the area. It's going close. Yeah, look, is it all there? It is. See the inner world going into the outer world. So yeah, it's all there, is that dark? Lovely. Not always easy to spot. Just look out for those little ridges. And another little one. It's all there, lovely. Another nodule over here. No in that one though. Oh. So, just about to head back. There's one more find. Have you seen it yet? Come more obvious than that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. A little dark. Perfect. Uh, spotted another one there, I think. Is it all there, though? I'm not sure, actually. No, no. Not quite there, that. Three quarters of a dark. Never mind. Oh, this is a little hot spot over here, so yeah, spot the duck time again. And you see it. Again, it's quite an obvious one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Here we go. Another one. Not bad. Okay, one more find. I think it's a good one as well, actually. I don't know if you can see it yet. Look at that. That is ready for popping. Lovely one that. That'll be a perfect deck. Lovely jubbly. Oh, that's a disappointing sight. There it is. Dead whale. Oh, that's a big one too. That's going to stink Saltwick Bay out. Let's hope uh, it washes away over winter. Otherwise, it's going to be old, you know, time for all the holiday visitors uh, come next summer. Ooh. So I'm just having a quick go at Saltwick. It looks worse than it is because it's a funny tide. It's only two and a half metre low tide. So it's actually only just gone low. Uh, so I should have a little bit of time. Uh, yeah, Ildi chips a bit off there but it's it's in that negative there so yeah can be uh, glued back together prepped fantastic ah, someone's left this on a rock <laughs> I don't think if they realized it's a big pseudo now it has got a bit missing which is quite normal for pseudos but 
I bet if we crack that, there's probably a good one inside, a smaller one. I'll give it a tap and see what happens. And there we go. Big pseudo. Unfortunately, that chunk is missing. But, you know, size of it, it's not that bad. You could restore it. It just needs the middle tapping out, really. So, yeah. Cool. Can't believe someone left that. So, this is a bit of a bonus hunt. Because the tide's on the way in now. It is actually just after low tide but it's a silly tide today it's about two and a half meter low so it's not really gone out much now it will come up the beach but it won't come up the beach that quick so I've got a little bit of time I'm not planning to spend loads of time here I'm just gonna have a, a look at the slips and round the corner and then go back round and uh, that'll be me done I've already done one trip today so yeah one trip is enough for most people but you know sometimes it's nice to do a couple and just nestled, nestled in this crevice here, a grey nodule, and look at that. Have a little duck in there, could be, be a perinoceros. Have late. Well, that's got to be too good to be true, surely. Surely that's got to be too good to be true. Is that a full ildi? <laughs> it is a full ildi. Beach prepped as well. Lovely job. Nice. I just tap this and it might not look much but that's a double there's one on top of each other so that's gonna have to go back in the bag and be uh, glued back together if it will or not hopefully it will we'll see looks like it's dark time and there a bit of a seam, that's not bad that one's not so good about that one no that one's definitely all there I think a couple at least yay there's another. It's all right, that one. Yeah. All there. A module there. It's out in that one. No, no, in that one. And more. Mm, might not be all that one, but I might cut and polish. That one's all there, though. Nice. More. Yeah, he. A nice nodule. And it's an ildi. Uh, could even be a, seems to be an out of world there, could even be a double that, so got all the pieces, get glued together and yeah, nice. Well, oh, that was a productive hour or so, uh, yeah, just goes to show, even when people have uh, been round the corner, as a couple of fishermen said, three people had just uh, come back, they don't always look properly because I've had a pretty decent bag full, Dax, Ildis, yeah, not bad at all, so, and we've still got a little bit of time tide don't move really so again it's just very difficult to tell what the tide's going to do when it's like this uh, it just seems to sort of sit there it don't go out it don't come in but uh, again always makes me a little bit nervous so not spend too long uh, around this corner it's not so bad when we're around the main bit because uh, you can see the tide and the access point but uh, ooh, that was a big uh, that big hypocrisy wearing out yeah, so yeah, it's supposed to show there's a bit of jet rock at Salt Lake Bay as well. So, I'm gonna pass the uh, Admiral von Trump shipwreck, and there's called the, uh, it used to be called the Sisters because there used to be more than one. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, that's uh, Whitestone Nab, I think, various names. I think it looks like Donald Trump when you get it from the right angle. Although, with all the uh, erosion, maybe his nose has fallen off. You can't really see it from this angle. Yeah. All right, head back. Might just have a look at the other corner before uh, I go up the hill. Just in case. They've not looked at that bit, bit properly either. So, yeah. Not bad. There we are. Good old Donald in all his glory. Just need a bit more orange. It's starting to get a little bit dark now. Can't really tell on video because of the enhancements and stuff, but we've got a, a nice pair or something in there. And then this big nodule. It's a big hildy. I don't know if it's crushed or not, but oh it's gotta be it's gotta be a six inch or at least that one, so yeah, that one's to prep. Happy days. Alright, that's all we bear. 
Ah, I think I've been here far enough.